what a weekend, man. What a weekend. Went to see the Tupac movie, man. I went to see that thing, bro. Guys, kings, and queens. I feel like a part of my life is completed. Now I can just, you know, now I can just go to Vegas and just die, man. And just, you know, I done seen everything I need to see, bro. Now, me being a lifelong Tupac fan, you know, mind you, I wasn't even growing up, I wasn't big on music like that, right? Tupac was the first rapper that I had ever became like a huge fan of. I remember riding to school fifth and sixth and seventh grade, just listening to Tupac every single day that morning, bro. So like a Tupac biopic, you know, I never thought that would happen. I ain't gonna say I never thought it would happen, but I never thought it would happen. So months ago, you know, when I hear about, when I see the trailer or whatever, you know, as a fan, I'm excited. You know, I'm sure a lot of people were, bro. And coming into the movie, I went, cause I went to see it Thursday. I went to see it premiere night. Like I knew from jump, I was going to see it premiere night. I wasn't even gonna go wait for the national release date. So coming into the movie, like I was going to pay attention to like simple details, like small details. And I knew if you a real Tupac fan, you notice like small details, like with how they had him drinking Henny. I don't want to tell too much in the movie, but Hennessy, like that's a small detail to me that I feel like is very important, and I appreciated that. But however, man, you know, I get on, you know, over the weekend, or you get on Twitter. And everybody's bashing the movie, saying it was trash for this reason or that reason, making jokes. Most of it was just people trolling, you know, saying crazy stuff for laughs or whatnot. But a lot of people really genuinely felt like the movie was trash. And I thought about it, like, what? For me, the movie was far from trash. For me, like, I learned stuff about Tupac that I didn't even know. You know, it was scenes that happened in the movie that I didn't even know about, bro. So watching that movie, I, the fact that I learned something, that was enough for me. And, um, but I, I ain't gonna lie though, like when Jada came out on Twitter and said like, me and Pac, this didn't happen, this didn't happen about her relationship with Pac, I, I felt some type of way about that because, you know, I was like, dang, why they put that in the movie if it didn't even happen like that, man? They tried to make it seem like a romance, like him and Jada had like this, I know they had a close relationship, but they made it seem like, the, the movie made it seem like they had like some kind of like romance going on. But to say that the movie is trash, like come on now, that movie was amazing, bro. And I tell everybody that's trying, that plans on going to see the movie, it's a long, long movie. And what other way would you want it, bro? Like, you can't make a Tupac movie and that mug be an hour and a half long, bro. Me personally, what I would have preferred to see was like a three-part series on VH1 or something. Like, I, I feel, that's how, that's how much of that's how much Tupac did in 25 years of life. I felt like his his life was worth a three part series, two hours each part or an hour and a half each part. Like I, I still feel like two and a half hours wasn't enough to to cover Tupac's life. But I ain't gonna lie though. I wish I, I wish John Singleton would have would have you know did this movie. That's what Tupac said he wanted to do the movie. Um, a Feeny. I, you know, I'm, I'm hearing that Afeni Shakur was against the production of, the, of this movie by these people. But, you know, with that said, bro, it's, it's, I still enjoyed the movie, man. Uh, Demetrius Ship did an amazing job. Um, there were some scenes. Of course, he doesn't sound just like Tupac, but there were some scenes. There were some, there were some little words here and there where he, where he would talk, and he sounded just like Tupac, in my opinion. And some, a lot of his mannerisms throughout the movie... Looked just like Tupac's mannerisms, uh, more so when he was on stage performing and stuff. His mannerisms were just like Tupac's, bro. So I commend Demetrius Ship on that. He did an amazing job. I forget the woman, Cat Graham, Kadada, Kadada Jones. Cat Graham played Kadada Jones, which was Tupac's girlfriend. She did an amazing job, bro. I give the, I give the movie an A, man. You know, I really enjoyed it. I would go see it again. You know, if I can find somebody else who wants to go see the movie with me. But it was an amazing movie, man. I advise everybody to go out and and watch this movie and learn about Tupac because you might you might you even if you are a diehard fan, you might watch this movie and learn something about Tupac that you didn't know prior to to this movie, like I did, you know. So y'all go out, go check it, man, and stop and don't listen and don't listen to people's opinions, negative or positive. Go watch it if you're interested. Go watch it and form your own opinion, man. Form your own opinion. That's what I did. I loved it. 
God's kids are clean. Remember to love somebody and hug somebody, man. You're here today. You're gone today. I'm out.